It's Colette with Blessing Scrap Therapy with another project, friends. Let's use a mason ring to make a napkin ring for the holidays. Oh my god. Okay, so I started with this really pretty ribbon. Think I got it at Michael's. Probably got it on sale. You know I did. Anyways, I cut a strip of it and um, I put it on the ring just like this. And then I take a piece. I'm just using twine that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm tying it around the top really tight so that it really scrunches together. And you'll see. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm taking a little bead. It's just a wooden bead and I'm going to tie that on the top of that. And um, I do a double knot. I don't show the double knot, but trust and believe I did a double knot. <laughs> and again, I did it nice and tight. Okay. And just to point out, um, no mason jar rings were harmed in the making of this project. Everything can be removed from it and you can use the mason ring again. All right. So then I take another rip piece of ribbon and I just tie it in the center. Okay. Then I put it on the front and then I tie it in the back. Oh my gosh, you guys, can you see it yet? <laughs> it's so cute. All right, I just tie it, a loose knot though, okay? Because we wanna be able to shift the front um, when we adjust it, because they're kind of supposed to look like little hands. Look, <laughs> so cute. It's gonna be an angel, it's gonna be beautiful. Anyways, that's the, that's the hope. Um, I did put a dot of glue on the back just because I wanted to make sure that those, that, what do you call it, that little knot, I just wanted to make sure that that didn't fall off. So that's the only glue that I'm using today though. And then just make sure it adheres. Don't burn your fingers, all the things, right? Super cute. All right, next we're going to make some wings. So I take another piece of that ribbon and I'm probably wrapping it around my hand, what, like twice? And then I'm going to take another piece of that twine, that cotton twine that I had. Um, I'm going to tie it right in the center just to make a little bow. The bow, though, are going to be angel wings, and they're going to be amazing. Or at least I'm going to say they're amazing because I spent time on it. <laughs> no, they really are going to be cute. Trust and believe. It'll be fine. All right, so there's that. And then I just fluff them out just so that they look more like wings or a bow, whatever. Super cute, right? Okay. And I notice I left the string on because now we're going to tie this on the back of our um, angel. Now listen, um, I tied it right under where the bead is tied, super tight, tie it twice, you know, double knot it, and then I turn it on its back side and I tie it again, just to make sure that it's nice and secure. I am, listen, I don't know, but I love tablescapes. I love making the tables look really pretty. I love I love, love, love cloth napkins. So this is right up my alley. This may not, you know, I, I'm sure some people are going to be like, oh my gosh, this is such a, not a, why would you even bother? Because some people really find joy in making a table look beautiful for their family. So if this isn't for you, that's okay. But for some of us, it's so for us. <laughs> All right. And then I just cut the excess off and are you kidding? Look at this. Are you kidding me? Okay. Deep breath. It's adorable. I think it's adorable. And look, here it is. I'm putting a paper napkin. So you don't have to have cloth, but paper napkin works and works with the cloth. Are you kidding me? Friends, I hope this inspires you. Mm -hmm. 